Dr. Ray Pastor. Today I'm going to talk about, you know, when to get a certificate versus a master's degree in the field of instructional design. You know, I, I see this question a lot. I get this question all the time and I talk, I, I advise students all the time on what they should be doing. And I also guide students through these programs so I see who's getting jobs, what kind of salaries they're getting, you know, when has the certificate been beneficial versus the master's degree and stuff like that. So let me talk a little bit about the differences. Um, so first of all, you know, the difference between the certificate and the master's, I think, is is pretty. I think there's a pretty um, clear line of the difference, and this is how I explain it to students. And I'll explain where it can get a little gray, and where it really, why it really probably shouldn't be gray. Um, but the biggest thing I see, and what I advise my students is, if you're trying to get a new job, you're doing a career transition, you're trying to get a new job, you're hoping to do consulting work you are clearly in the master's category, Cle very clearly in the master's category. If you are at a job and you need, you, you're required to take some credits, they're requiring a certificate, they are telling you, hey, if you get the certificate, we're gonna get you a promotion, you are clearly certificate student. You're clearly someone that should be getting a certificate. Let me explain my rationale behind this. So as I'm, you know, I'm a faculty member, so I see this all the time, but it's not just that. I also own a consulting firm. I'm interviewing people all the time. Um, so first of all, let me just tell you that when you're out there applying to jobs, every person applying to jobs is gonna have the master's degree. So first of all, if you're applying to like a big company and HR is the one sifting through their resumes, you're probably just going to be eliminated because you don't have the master's degree. You've already limited yourself with large companies. Now, smaller companies might be looking to not get as many applicants, so you have a greater chance of getting that job with a certificate. Okay, so I see that. that that's, that's one reason. That, that's a potential thing that could happen. Um, but you've really eliminated yourself from those big companies that just have a master's degree as the requirement. Why? Because 95 out of 100 of their applicants have it. All right. Then let's talk about the difference in, so that's like just getting the job overall. Um, let's talk a difference, difference in pay. Is there gonna be a difference in pay between someone who has a master's degree and a certificate? The answer is it depends where you're getting a job at. Any government, K to 12, public, um, university, that kind of employment, which is a lot in our field, a lot of government contractors and such, absolutely there is a pay difference between having a master's and not having a master's, especially when you first start out. Um, now you might have 10 years of work experience and say, well, they're gonna look at that experience. Okay, you're, you're right there. But you know, we're starting to see that there are very clear reasons why you get a master's versus a certificate. Now the thing is, the difference between these two, this, the master's is usually about double what the certificate is in, as far as workload. Um, and that's a general blanket statement across most programs. What I see is the difference between a certificate and a master's is about double the workload. Um, does that mean double the knowledge? You know, that's a good question. I have people come in and interview with me who have been working in the field. They are, they've been an instructional designer for 10 years, but they don't have a degree in the field. And they can't answer basic questions. Why can't they answer the basic questions? because they don't know what they don't know. They didn't realize they didn't know all this stuff about the field. They've just been designing training. There's a lot of really bad training out there, a lot of really, really bad training out there. And this comes into the, why should I be getting a degree in the field, not the master's versus certificate. But it's something to think about. You don't want to limit yourself. Um, from my experience, the students graduating with just a certificate that are trying to do a career change aren't very successful. And when they are, they struggled a lot to be successful versus the students that got the master's degree and didn't have any issues getting like four to six job offers upon graduation. Um, you know, so, and I, I have plenty of students with four to six job offers. I tell my students, do not apply to the 10 jobs because I don't want you to have 10 offers and have to turn down nine companies. It sounds like a great position to be in, but it, you really don't want to turn companies down when you don't have to. You apply to those few because I know you're going to get them. Um, so, you know, I, those are my very clear guidelines, you know, and I, I, I think that it's really something to consider. You know, you don't want to cut yourself short when you're talking about a lifelong career, you know, and, and making money and being happy and finding a job you like. You're really, really limiting yourself with just that certificate versus the master's degree. Thank you.